So this is the classic problem. Okay, you have a white, white mother, fair, 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 and baby's a little pink and jaundice. You see that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Exposure is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and do my um, lens correction. Brighten things up just a touch. The other thing that's bothering about this is the light is somewhat flat. The reason is, I noticed later, the studio lights that were lighting us for the video were on. And since I'm using continuous light, it was affecting my image. And I was so wrapped up in mom, I didn't realize that those were affecting. I'm like, why? Well, remember, I was, I was saying, why is that so flat? Um, that's why. So these images are a little bit flat light, but um, we're going to go ahead and go open it anyway because I want to show you how to deal with this. OK. So one of the first things I do with a mama like this is liquefy. So shift command X. Um, she's beautiful. I mean, there's really not much you need to do to her. But this area in here is bothering me, OK? The key to liquefy is to make your brush size as large as the object you want to move. So watch. If I make my brush really small and then start trying to liquefy, I'm going to have a lot of problems. OK? So step backwards, step backwards, step backwards. Um, if I make my brush the same size as the thing I'm trying to move, or even larger, now I can push everything in a lot prettier. I'm just, I'm stroking down. Okay, I'm pushing in and stroking down to make the fabric kind of just tuck in just a tad. And I'm exaggerating this just a touch to show you. I'm very leery of making mom look too thin. But you'll notice I'm going to reduce the size of my brush because I've got this little piece in here that I want to take in. The elbow needs to come up just a touch. And I can go ahead and make my brush the same size as mama's arm and just go ahead and tuck her in. I will do hair as well. This is more than I would do for a client, OK? Just so you know. It often helps in liquify to instead of going right next to mama's head, because I want to tuck this hair in, go outside the hair. All you're doing is pushing pixels. So if you just go outside the area instead of actually touching it, that will help you keep things smooth without distorting it too much. And hair is a great way to do that. So don't touch the hair you're trying to move. Otherwise, it'll go all over the place. Okay? So, and, Hair is incredibly hard to fix in Photoshop. It takes like seriously skilled retouching to do that. So try to get it right. The flyaways, you know, fix it when you're shooting it because it's one of the things that'll be your nemesis when you are uh, in Photoshop. Okay, so I basically just tucked her in a little bit. That's all I did. Not much. The arm over here, I did it a little bit more than I normally would. So just to show you guys kind of how things work. Don't take this too far. You can definitely overdo this.